This video is brought to you by the EA Sports Game Changers Program. What's going on? It's D Man bringing to you some EA Sports UFC 4 career mode. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the next fight. We have Nate Diaz. Now, you all know Nate Diaz. It's one of my mains when I dive into um, ranked. So I'm looking forward to this fight. I'm looking forward to see how he fights as an AI. Um, personally, I like Nate Diaz because he can strike. He's also really good on the ground. So it'll be interesting to see how he fights. Um, once again, I'm just working on my Evo points. And don't worry, the shirt is only for, um, for sparring. You know, you won't see it in the octagon. So yeah, I'm working on my Evo point. So I'm doing a bunch of boxing and I'll make a full video on how to get the most Evo points out of your training because we all know Evo points are really important. For example, somebody on my last video asked me, why is my kick speed and kick power so low? Well, it's so much to focus on, to be honest. I mean, first of all, I have to focus on health and then I have to focus on my stand up, and that's accuracy blocking um, punching power, punching speed, because I am a boxer. And then I also want to defend myself on the ground at least and defend takedowns, even though I'm kind of bad at it right now. So yeah, kicking speed and kicking power is kind of on the back burner for now. Like I said, in real time, I'm working up to get in that five star, but man, it's so much to do and so much to pay attention to. So. You see, we're filling out the evil points, ranking up some moves, and that's going to be more evil points, and that's pretty much perfect and what I needed. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm getting injured. Need to heal up that chain. You already know. And like I said, kick power and kick speed, relatively low compared to everything else. So matter of fact, I'm definitely, I think before the Nate Diaz fight, I definitely worked on my, um, my kick power and kick speed because it was looking sad. And I do like to throw kicks when I can. You know, some leg kicks here and there and some, some heel kicks. So yeah, let me go ahead and get the power up because honestly, I'm tired of people eating my head kicks. So let's get into it. All right, we got Nate Diaz at the weigh-in. Should be fun. I still, man, if we had like some type of, I guess it wouldn't be a quick time event, but a way to do our own press conference and stuff like that i think career mode would be way better i would love to start beef at a press conference you know what i mean i mean we have the social media now but it's not the same i believe i said it in my previous fight but i'm playing on hard difficulty now when i start a new career it will be on legendary just to take it a step up and then if we unlock pro after that i'll play a career mode on that too i do like to dive into all the difficulties so we'll end up doing that. I mean, we have plenty of time with UFC for plenty of time. So I'm not in a rush personally, but I, I get it. You, like on this difficulty on hard, you definitely, you see tendencies, you know what I mean? So whenever you can just kind of cheese the computer, it's never that good, but I try to stay away from it. Roundhouse to the body. It was kind of heavy. It was a little bit faster. Okay. I'll work on that. I like how that came out. Let me work on Hawking and not following. I'm tripping. One thing that's super low is my footwork. I definitely need to work on that. Watch out for that looping cross. And that overhand. There we go. Caught him with the hook. Oh, dropped him. Knee. Dropped him again. Nate, you my homie. I don't I don't want to do you like this, man. I don't want to do it. I'm surprised. Man, they should just have Nate Diaz just like Nate Diaz. If I knock you down, he should just sit there. Tell you, you know, coming to my guard. That's what we really need, man. We need to be able to pull guard. Got him with the rolling thunder. 
Yeah, we need to be able to pull guard, man. That's what we need. Maybe you can, and I just have to lab up. We'll see. Nate Diaz is getting tagged up. There it is. There goes the hook. Yeah, like, I feel you. Don't get me wrong. I feel you. I might need to turn the difficulty up. I wasn't sure how the game was going to be, though. You feel me? And to be 100% honest with you, like, by the time you see this video, I'll probably already be done with career mode. So I'll probably just keep it consistent for now. I don't think I'm going to turn the difficulty up right now. But when I start a new career mode, definitely, definitely playing all legendary. But that was a good finish, though. Shout out Nate Diaz, man. You my homie. But I had to do it to you, fam. So we got some unlocks. Ooh, I'm not digging a leopard print, but I do like new gladiator shorts. Nah, nah, don't do it, D-Man. Don't do it. I know you want to, but don't do it. I'll, I'll take the coins. I'll just do that. Huh. All right, let's see who we have next. I'm liking welterweight, or I was, RDA, Rafael Dos Anjos. Look, when I first came to welterweight, I took the belt from RDA to become double champ. So I know he wants that revenge. He wants to run it back. I so I definitely need to pick up some new moves. It's been a while. I'm gonna go for the two touch. Um, I doubt I use this move a lot. I probably forget I have it, but once again, most of the moves I pick up, I just, I wanna have it in my arsenal. You know what I mean? Because there are some fights where I kind of breeze through people, so. Yeah, I'll probably throw it out then. But for the most part, I'm not going to spam the two touch, but I'm going to definitely pick it up. Also, I don't want to overtrain. So like I said before, a few videos ago, um, my career, my career, career mode is way more open to hyping a fight up because on UFC 3, I kind of just got through without doing any of that. But, you know, it's actually some upside to it now. So I respect that. So I definitely do that when I can. All right, once again, um, boxing level five. We've been doing a bunch of boxing drills. And you can see I get 15 Evo points per drill now. And that's definitely needed, bro. So I'm building up Evo points easy. And also, one thing I did want to talk about is longevity. Um, longevity goes by way faster in UFC 4. I feel like um, this career mode actually won't be that long. We might be finished pretty soon. So that's always good. And like I said in the comment section, um, I just don't want to spam career mode videos. If you want to see um, backyard fights or regular octagon fights where I fight more seriously or uh, Kumite, let me know in the comments below and let me know who you want to see and on uh, what difficulty. Um, I'm always like, I know, you know, people hate. It is what it is, but I say all the time, it, it's the internet, bruh. <laughs> nothing's gonna bother me on the internet you feel me so i'm always reading comments i can't reply all the time but i'm definitely always reading comments and i'm trying to see what you guys are trying to look forward to so definitely let me know honestly i doubt all of this make it into the game i don't want to be taunting people and stuff in a ranked match personally but that's just me i don't know we'll see what happens Oh, what? A one kick leg kick? Okay, RDA. Oh, and I'm down. All right, bruh. Let me find out I'm about to lose in 30 seconds. <laughs> bruh. Three shots and I'm in danger, bro. Oh, no. RDA been training. I really got lucky that first fight. That's what you're telling me right now. Bruh, that's so tough. Okay, let me let me get my bearings. I'm good. I'm good. There we go. Thank you. I'm trying to slow down though, for sure. Pick my shots. Get the head movement going. <laughs> that rolling thunder, my fault, man. I like that. I like the kick, bro. I really do. Can I back him up? Oh, he went for the takedown. That was nice. Really was. But you know me, man. I'll defend myself. 
scramble a little bit. I'll definitely try to grapple more in this fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We should be okay. Yeah, that red bar moving. We're good. How do you all feel about the submission system? I feel like I don't have a problem with the mini game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, sir, RDA. Yes, sir. He ate every shot. Anyways, how do you all feel about the submission system? Because I don't have a problem with the mini game per se, but I do feel like they aren't as effective as they were on the beta, which is good because on the beta submissions were OD. So they do feel a little bit better now. Oh man, I'm pancaked. I have to roll over. Hold on, RDA, be gentle. Yeah, I, I think right now the submissions are in a better spot than the beta. There we go. Half guard, we should be good. Nope. I kind of like battling on the ground. I'm gonna stand up because I don't want to get caught up, but I like that. It might be time in my career to switch it up. Go for some submissions. I have some in my bag. I just don't use them. Oh, there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love doing the jab. We tagged them, though. As MMA evolves, I can't believe my leg got rocked on the first strike. But my leg health is only on three stars. He got that. It has to be the window, man. Y'all have to believe me. But I feel like the only way to do that is with a webcam or, or a controller cam, but... I'm on it, man. I'm on the takedown defense. It just, it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? But good first round. Yeah, but that first round was definitely a wake-up call. I'll definitely work on my leg kicks from now on. Man, what, bro? I'm going to work on my leg health. And then my kick power and kick speed. Like I said, I did not mean to ignore it for so long, bro. It's just other things were in the way. That's all it was. We're well, not necessarily in a way, but you know, prioritize. But now I'm pretty, I'm at a pretty good spot where I'm at to just work on wherever. So I could defend myself on the ground, standing up. If I'm not messing up, that should have been a knockout. If I'm not messing up, I should be good. So yeah, I'll definitely work on my lead power and my kick power and my kick speed. Let me stay out of range. Thought he was going down low. That was a super wind up. Leg kick, another one. I don't know. I might have to fight RDA and Southpaw. I probably should to match up anyway, but on the game, I just feel more comfortable in Orthodox, which is dumb to me because I'm a Southpaw in real life. Now, what type of sense does that make? It is what it is. Ooh. Hey, I was on it. You saw the hands drop, right? I know you all saw that. There we go. He's getting tagged. Another hook. Tagged him. They can take a lot of shots at welterweight, man. That's on me. I went for something I probably shouldn't have. I tried to style out, man. I don't think I had the facilities for that big man. Those lights, bro. Do y'all see that? I think I've asked before, but those are definitely the ceiling lights glaring on my screen right now. But we're tagging them more in round two. And that's all I want. Get out the way of that. That's all I want right here, man. I'm not going to rush it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he got it. That was a good shoot right there. But I'll still defend myself. BJJ sweeps. I like it. I need the points. Let me posture. There we go. Do damage. Go up top. Okay. That's all I want to do is do damage. Only 20 seconds left. He'll probably make it out this round, but yeah, he's in trouble round three. And that's all I want to do, man. Yeah, in round three, we're going to put the puzzle together. 
it's pretty rough. RDA is, he's a demon. I never used him in rank, but I know he was really popular. All right, round three. Let me try to piece everything together. Get out the way. That body straight is nice, too. I do like that. Cover up. Nice pull. Oh, man. One shot in the clinch like that. Leg kick kind of heavy. Yeah, I really should start kickboxing. That would be way better, man. I got y'all for real. I got y'all on that. I'm going to lab up and get right. Uh-oh, we're going for a ride. Ouch. I'm tired of people little bro in me, man. I'm like little bro out here, man. Give me a break. He stood up. Feeling himself. I don't blame him, though. Let me hawk him down a little bit. Oh, he's quick. There we go. I have one, too. And I have a knee, too. Hey, if that's what you want to do, he stood back up. That's never going to work. Oh, never mind. It will. All right, bet. Got out the way of that one. He'll kick no good. Landing shots now. His head damage is so low. I like it. He wants to get that single collar clinch, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, never mind. Then he switched it up. We're on it. Thank you. Rock with me. Give me a takedown defense. Caught him. He's wobbly. He's moving. I'm going to beat that nose up. Mmm. Mmm. He's covering up. There we go. I have to do it. If you can't tell, I'm working on my jab a little bit. <laughs> I need those stars. There we go. That has to be the fight, right? Oh, pulled that boy in the top mount. Oh, that was a weak finish. I got to start. I told myself the last fight, I have to start hooking off. Because the, the ground and pound is not as brutal. Until maybe I need to unlock elbows or something, but it's just not brutal. So I have to work on that. But RDA, man, he held it down for sure. 